and that is the final whistle. A dramatic final to our YouTube Cup. Barcelona S2G, Benfica AA9 skills. Benfica lose yet another final and unfortunately stay cursed. But it is S2G, Sid and Barcelona that are the 2024 YouTube Cup champions. It is that time once again. The 2024-2025 YouTubers Champions League. And this year, we have a very special guest. Not that everyone else that's participating is not special because they obviously are. But one participant in particular is just next level. Now, if you're new and you haven't seen this competition before, that is okay. Let me quickly explain it to you. It is the Champions League where every single club is represented by a football YouTuber. Last year's winner, as you got from the intro, was S2G with Barcelona in a thrilling final against double a9 skills with benfica but this year the champions league is in a completely different format plus we have some new participants so who knows who will win but enough of me blabbing on guys let me introduce you to the 16 participants that will be competing in the fc25 champions league and of course if you do enjoy the content and the videos guys please hit the like button for me with the little subscribe button i would really appreciate it fc25 youtubers champions league what can i say this will be epic the first club that is being represented in our youtubers champions league we have to go with the reigning champion s2g and barcelona he holds the title and he wants to go back to back i'm back to retain my crown and of course i'm gonna be repping barca i mean i've won it already it's now time to go two time the second participant will be representing arsenal now this man is controversial entertaining and he loves to talk it is of course rory talks yeah i'm sure you've seen him around well 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 arsenal in the youtuber champions league and obviously we're gonna win it all we know how to do is win that is what we do this is what he does! We are not the sort of team that would bottle for example that's not us so we're gonna win it it's our time we've been building up to this moment come on you get us youtuber number three a newcomer to our competition my friends he will be representing milano fc aka ac milan it is tyster now he thinks ac milan can win the youtubers champions league but irl ac milan and the champions league ain't doing much all right so tyster here now ac milan we may have lost our license in fc25 but we have won the champions league seven times i think it's time for number eight so i got a very strong feeling that we're taking this one the australian sensation jared hd is returning once again with fulham and he feels very optimistic especially with a mill smith role so it is an honor to be representing fulham my man we've got some new signings compared to last season when you did this a mill smith row he's coming for you other youtubers up the fulham and if we're gonna have jared we have to have jared's friend b ford with chelsea will be youtuber number five can chelsea and b ford win this competition honestly any squad that has Cole Palmer probably has a decent chance. Sticking with Premier League clubs, YouTuber number six has featured before, but this time he decided to send in a video pumping up the Liverpool boys. Please give a warm round of applause to Chani. Klopp or no Klopp, this Liverpool starting 11 is definitely capable of winning any trophy out there, so I'm back in my boys. Salah, get it done. From the Premier League, we are going all the way to Turkey, guys, because we're gonna have Fenerbahce in the competition and youtuber number seven will be representing Fenerbahce it is none other than Giolini hey sir I gotta tell you something this might not be fair competition you're sure that you want Fenerbahce in this tournament right I mean with the special one coaching our side you might want to think about it again for the sake of the others anyways i'll leave it up to you for youtuber number eight we are traveling from turkey to spain to real madrid and when you think of real madrid which youtuber comes to mind it's gotta be santiago aka mr foot crunch welcome back my friend honestly looking at real madrid's squad i think they can win the entire thing but they did just lose to lil so for sure it is not a guarantee hello sir it is foot crunch and the team so meaning obviously it's real madrid we're gonna win the whole thing because we have the best team, the best players, and the absolute best player in the world. Vinicius Junior. If we don't win, I'm gonna be pretty sad. So let's just make sure you rig it so we win. Thank you. I will be YouTuber number nine, representing Bournemouth, of course, the Cherries. Listen, no Dominic Solanke, but we got Evan Nielsen. And in FC25, Bournemouth players finally got the upgrades that they deserved. So I'm not gonna sit here and say that Bournemouth can win it, but I am 100% confident that we can stay competitive. From Bournemouth, we're traveling to Poland for YouTuber number 10. It is Pajor, and 
he will be represented by Jagalonia. Hey, you gotta give Jagalonia credit because they're the reigning Polish champions. And because this is the home of fairy tale runs and underdog stories, maybe Jagalonia can pull off an upset or two. This club holds a special place in my heart. They won the Polish league last year and almost made it into the group stages of the Champions League. It's Jagiellonia Białystok. Make me proud. YouTuber number 11 reigns from Germany. He's a very good friend of our channel and he supports a very cursed club in Hamburg. I don't need to tell you who it is. You already know who it is. It's Fiago. Yes, Fiago is back and he's pumped up about it. Lads, last season we sadly went out in groups, didn't make it, but in real life we didn't even get promoted either. This year we will. Seven times the charm, easily, up to the Bundesliga and in South UCL, which is even more important, second times the charm. We win, we win the whole thing, bro. From Germany, we're going back to England for YouTuber number 12. We can't have a competition without this guy. It is Mark Goldbridge who will be representing, of course, Manchester United. I mean, on paper, Manchester United does look pretty decent, but I'm more than confident that something ridiculous will happen to them in this competition. Lucky number 13 in our YouTubers Champions League will go to HR Vizak with Dinamo Zagreb. And why did we give him lucky number 13? Well, because he's gonna need all the luck that he could get. Sar, as the YouTuber World Cup champion with the Croatian national team, I can confidently say that I'm not gonna be repeating any wonder story with club. Of course, it's no surprise that Croatia can win a World Cup, but Dinamo Zagreb in the Champions League, the only club in history to concede nine goals in a single UCL match this season as well. Yeah, if we pull this off, miracles are real. Maybe we can make some sort of deep run, but trophy repeat? No way. Either way, I'm Odinamo. From Zagreb, we go to Portugal and Benfica, a finalist of last year's YouTuber Champions League. Double A9 skills, of course it's him. Now, Benfica is a cursed club just like Hamburg, but they did beat Atletico Madrid in the Champions League. So maybe their curse is being broken and maybe they can make the final once again. Back to the Premier League we go for participant number 15. This YouTuber reigns from the United States of America. He's got a wonderful mustache and he supports Manchester City. It is Stan Man. Listen, 115 this, 115 that. Who's going to win the Prem? City. Who's going to win the UCL? City. What color is Manchester? Stan Man? Blue. Manchester City, baby. Let's ride. Now, there's only one more club to introduce, and we did say we will have someone very special. No, I'll be straight up with you guys. This man is not a YouTuber, but he is a professional footballer. He plays in Ligue 1 with Auxerre, so please put your hands together for the Canadian international Theo Bear, who will be representing himself and Auxerre in our YouTubers Champions League. This is insane. Hey, it's Theo Bear, Canadian international and Auxerre player. I think my team will be winning this tournament. All the best. Now, some of you probably wondered, sorry, there was no video submission from B Ford, from AA9 Skills, or from Mark Goldbridge. Well, that's because, guys, I emailed them, I contacted them, and none of them responded to me. So if you got any hookups or connections for those three for future videos, please, guys, let me know. So how will we pull this off with the new Champions League format? Because there's no more group stage matches. To try and make it as realistic as possible, what I did was make a league with all the 16 clubs. And after all the league play matches are completed, the top four clubs will automatically progress to the quarterfinals. Then the clubs that finish 5th to 12th will compete in a playoff to compete for the last four spots in the quarterfinals. And unfortunately, the clubs that finish 13th, 14th, 15th, and 16th will be eliminated. Let's go to the end of the league play matches of our FC25 YouTubers Champions League. It's time to crown a winner. So in the league play phase of our competition, guys, everyone will play each other once because there's 16 clubs for a total of 15 matches each. And I paused it after every club has played 8 matches just to keep you guys updated. I want to show you the table and what it looks like. In first place after eight matches, it is Fenerbahce with Giolini and Jose Mourinho on 19 points. Followed by Sid and Barcelona, the reigning champion. Stanman with Manchester City not far behind either in third place. But after that, it kind of drops off a little bit. Rory with Arsenal is in fourth with 13 points. AC Milan and Teister in fifth on 13 points. The biggest shock for me is sixth place Jagiellonia and Pajor. Four wins and four losses on 12 points somehow. Foot Crunch with Real Madrid is in 7th, also on 12 points. I am in 8th place, also on 12 points. While Chani with Liverpool is in 9th, Jared with Fulham is in 10th, Mark Goldbridge with Manchester United is in 11th, and the 12th team so far, it is Dinamo Zagreb with HR Vizak. I got no idea how Chelsea with Beford is in 13th, and AA9 Skills with Benfica is in 14th. Then Theo Bear with Auxerre is in 15th on 7 points, and... <laughs> 
Fiago with Hamburg, man. Two points, dead last in 16th place. But the craziest part is that 15th and 9th is only separated by two points. So Theo Bear and Auxerre, they're still completely in this. But Fiago and Hamburg gotta pick it up in the second half. They need some wins. They don't have a single win yet. The league play phase of our YouTubers Champions League has come to an end. All the matches have been played. Who are the top four teams that are automatically going to the quarterfinals? In first place, it is the reigning champion. He took over Fenerbahce and Giolini. It is S2G with Barcelona on 36 points. But Giolini with Fenerbahce in second place on 34 points. Real Madrid with foot crunch climbed up to third. They also automatically qualify for the quarterfinals on 29 points. And in fourth place, it is Rory with Arsenal on 28 points. In fifth place, going to a playoff, it is AC Milan with Teister. In sixth place, Stanman with Manchester City. Seventh goes to Mark Goldbridge and Manchester United. They climb back up. Eighth place, middle of the pack, it goes to me with Bournemouth. We will be in the playoffs. Ninth place goes to Chani and Liverpool. Tenth place, double A9 skills and Benfica. Eleventh place, B Ford with Chelsea. They got into the playoff. And the last team that is qualifying for the playoffs to try and get to the quarterfinals, it is Jared with Fulham on 15 points. It is the end of the road for Dinamo Zagreb with HRV Zak, Jagalonia with Pajor, Theo Bear, our professional footballer, and Auxerre, and Fiago with Hamburg. They went winless, oh my gosh, on four points. But the race for 11th and 12th spot was so close. Like, Dinamo Zagreb, Jagalonia, and Auxerre were right in it until the end. So our two-legged knockout playoff matches are set, guys, to get to the quarterfinals. It will be fifth place AC Milan with Teister, taking on Fulham and Jared, who finished in 12th. We will see sixth place Manchester City with Stanman taking on 11th place Chelsea and B4. Seventh place Manchester United with Mark Goldbridge will take on 10th place Benfica and double A9 skills. And then eighth place Bournemouth me will have to take on ninth place Liverpool and Chani. I don't feel optimistic. Leg number one between Teister with AC Milan and Jared with Fulham to try and get to the quarterfinals. Who will take the lead in leg number one? It will be Teister with AC Milan three to two. Jared with Fulham is down by a goal going into leg two. They need to win this one, man. Who is going there? It will still be Teister with AC Milan. They are off to the quarterfinals. Second playoff matchup, and this is a very interesting one. It is Stanman with Manchester City versus B Ford and Chelsea. Leg one. Who takes leg one? Man City with Stanman two to one. Can B Ford come back and go to the quarterfinals? Oh my gosh. What a scoreline in the second leg. I'm sorry, B Ford and Chelsea. You guys are eliminated. It is Stanman with Manchester City. Playoff fixture number three, Mark Goldbridge with Manchester United, taking on double A9 skills and Benfica leg one. Someone takes the lead. Mark Goldbridge with Man United take the lead with a brace from Garnacho. We haven't seen any crazy comebacks or wild stories just yet. Maybe this is the time. Can Benfica and double A9 skills come back from a two goal deficit? No, they cannot. Double A9 skills went to the final of last year's YouTuber Champions League, but this year He's eliminated in the playoffs. While Mark Goldbridge with Manchester United, they are going to the quarterfinals. And the last playoff matchup for a spot in the quarterfinals. The last spot. It is Chani with Liverpool versus me and Bournemouth. Uh, guys, I don't feel optimistic. Leg one, just keep it close. Oh my gosh. No! Pray for me, my friends. This is mission impossible because even Evan Nielsen is out in the second leg. And we're down 3-0 to Chani. I, I think it's over. <sighs> I'm eliminated. I'm, I'm gone. Bye. Shani, congratulations. Liverpool takes the last spot in the quarters. So our YouTubers Champions League quarterfinal bracket, it is set, guys. Eight clubs remain. On the left side of the bracket, we have first place Barcelona and S2G taking on ninth place Chani and Liverpool. And third place Foot Crunch with Real Madrid taking on sixth place Stanman with Manchester City. While on the right side of the bracket, we have second place Fenerbahce with Giolini taking on seventh place Manchester United and Mark Goldbridge. And fourth place, Arsenal with Rory Tox taking on fifth place, AC Milan and Teister. Now, to make things even more interesting, the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and the final will all be a one-match knockout. If you want to win the YouTuber UCL, you got to perform under pressure. So let's see what happens in our first quarterfinal. Barcelona with S2G taking on Liverpool and Chani, who is going to the last four. The semifinals, it will be S2G. In the 88th minute, too, it almost went into extra time, but Danny almost 
Lobo secures the semi-final spot for Sid. And unfortunately, that is the end of the road for Chani and Liverpool, but it was a pretty good run. Now, this is a massive fixture. It is foot crunch with Real Madrid and Stan Man versus Manchester City. One of them will be eliminated. One match to secure a spot in the semi-finals. It is Hala Madrid. It is Real Madrid 3-0 convincingly. I'm sorry, Stan Man. You are going home in the quarterfinals and it is foot crunch with Real Madrid that is progressing. Off to the other side of the bracket, I would say a fairy tale story of sorts with Fenerbahce and Giolini versus Manchester United and Mark Goldbridge. Only one of them can go to the semifinals. Which one will it be? Who is going there? It's Manchester United. Manchester United with Mark Goldbridge in the 119th minute through Joshua Xerxes. I did not expect this one. I really didn't. Manchester United pulled it off. And our last quarterfinal, it is AC Milan with Tyster versus Arsenal and Rory for a spot in the semi-finals. Who is going there? One match. <gasps> Bro, it's Tyster with AC Milan. Didn't Rory say something that Arsenal is not gonna bottle it? We are not the sort of team that would bottle, for example. They bottled it. Arsenal is out. It is Tyster with AC Milan that is in the last four. And so our last four is set, guys. It will be Barcelona with S2G versus Real Madrid and Foot Crunch. And the other semifinal, I did not expect to have this kind of semifinal on the other side of the bracket. Mark Goldbridge with Manchester United versus Tyster and AC Milano. I cannot believe that one of these clubs will not be in the final. It's either S2G with Barca or Foot Crunch with Real Madrid. One game to decide. It. One game to go to the final. Three, two, one. Who is moving to the final? It's foot crunch. 4-2. Vinny Jr. with a hat trick. Mbappe scored one as well. S2G will not be retaining his Champions League trophy in FC25 because he is eliminated with Barcelona in the semifinals. But foot crunch with Real Madrid will have a chance to win it. But who will be joining Real Madrid in the final? Will it be Teister with AC Milan? Will it be Mark Goldbridge with Manchester United? To be fair, both of them had a wonderful run, but only one can go to the final and that club will be my goodness it is Tyster with AC Milan Rafa Liao Morata Ruben Loftus-Cheek three to one Mark Goldbridge is out in the semis AC Milan with Tyster is going to this final unbelievable welcome to the FC 25 YouTuber Champions League final foot crunch with Real Madrid Tyster with AC Milan who probably wasn't expected to get here but here he is trying to fight for this trophy. Well, here we are. AC Milan versus Real Madrid. AC Milan is white as they kick it off. Real Madrid is in their orange kits. As AC Milan is going forward through Teo Hernandez right away. Oh my gosh. Loftus cheek. Into the box it goes. It's out by Mendy. I can't even, you know, make a proper announcement here as it goes out. Listen, AC Milan is definitely the heavy underdog. It would be an incredible accomplishment if they could win this final. Real Madrid with foot crunch are by far the favorites as Mbappe goes forward, takes a shot. Mike Magnon will put it out for a corner in the ninth minute. Unfortunately, S2G couldn't make the final and try to retain his title as Mike Magnon comes out and claims that ball. I mean, what an incredible performance, especially by AC Milan. Um, you You'd probably expect Real Madrid to get this deep, but AC Milan, they had a really, really good league phase, and they did pretty well in the knockout play uh, playoffs as well, and they're trying to get the trophy now. Pulisic, Morata, Pulisic, Calabria, tries to feed it inside. Vinny will take the quick throw in. Ball rolls. Vinny inside. Beautiful pass. Valverde. Valverde off the post. AC Milan is still alive. How is it nil-nil? Rinders. Nice ball to Pulisic. We are at halftime. Pulisic bursts through. Pulisic will play it back. Is there a goal in the cards before halftime? AC Milan into the box. It's dinked. Courtois will come out and collect it. A little a bit of a worry face there for Real Madrid. But AC Milan and Real Madrid go into the second half scoreless. The second half kicks off. We had an eight-goal thriller in our last year's Champions League final. It was 5-3 for <laughs> Barcelona and S2G over double A9 skills in Benfica. This year's Champions League final is a little bit more, uh, I wouldn't say dull. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more, uh, Calm. <laughs> Shumeni operating. Makes a terrible pass. Reinders goes back the other way to Pulisic. He's been a bright spot for AC Milan and Teister in 
this entire game. Rinders, Morata. Morata will probably feed it out wide. No, he's gonna hold on to it. What's Morata doing? Alvaro, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? What? <laughs> Drops it off for Calabria. A terrible pass. My gosh, man. What kind of final is this? Guys, guys, both clubs have to pick it up. <laughs> Seems to me like maybe only one goal will uh, will solve this one. Or maybe no goals. Maybe we'll go to penalties. You never know. Bellingham stripped by Teo Hernandez. They've tried to create a few crosses, a few decent chances, but nothing major. Pulisic. Oh, if that went through to Morata. Rafa Liao. This is dangerous. This is very dangerous because it's so late. Rinders. Shot! Blocked! One minute of stoppage time added on. Rodrigo. Rodrigo going forward. Theo Hernandez says no, and we are going to extra time to decide this one. All right, the first 15 minutes of the first extra time. Carvajal, back to Rodrigo. I mean, there's a nice ball. Tamori gets it out. Camavinga back inside. Valverde, is there a foul? No, there is not. The ref says play on. Loftus cheek. Rafa Liao. Teo Hernandez. Morata. AC Milan going on the counter attack here. Out wide to Calabria. Calabria. Pulisic. Stoppage time of the first half of extra time. Calabria. Stripped off the ball by Mendy. And I think that's going to be the end of that. Yes, it is. We're still scoreless. Luka Modric is now on for Real Madrid. Modric. Modric. Operating. Carvajal. Bellingham in the box. Mbappe! It had to be Mbappe. A chance out of nothing in the second half of extra time. And Foot Crunch, wherever he's watching this, he's probably jumping up and down on his couch. Because it is 1-0 for Real Madrid and Kylian Mbappe. Really a chance out of nothing, but the finish clinical direct beautiful unstoppable 1-0 Real Madrid because of this man. We're in stoppage time. This is it. Modric to Bellingham, Real Madrid with the possession. It's blocked by Teo Hernandez, but that's it. That is it. It's over. It is foot crunch with Real Madrid that win the YouTubers Champions League for this season. Real Madrid, the biggest club in the world. Foot crunch supports the biggest club in the world. And no wonder they are coming to lift this trophy. Fully deserving. Had a wonderful league phase. Played extremely well in the quarterfinals and in the semifinals. And then they got the late goal that they needed. As Carvajal alongside... Kylian Mbappe, the goal scorer of the final, lift the 2024-2025 YouTuber UCL. I want to thank every single creator, every single one of you guys that sent in a video supporting this video. I really appreciate it. And a special thank you goes to Theo Bear of Auxerre, also sending in a video and supporting the content, supporting the channel. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button with the little noti bell so you don't miss out on any future vids on the channel. Your 2024 YouTuber Champions League winner. Real Madrid and Foot Crunch. Peace, 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 peace. Take care of yourselves, guys, all right? Peace! I love ya.